London's pretty good, but you don't you get your throat slit between gigs. Why don't you say something, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> well, Richard's got a whole album of uh, your songs, Towns, the Amigos album. Yeah, Amigos. Let's call him in here. Would you sing one of the songs that you want to Towns of songs? Yeah, would you do that? Oh, wow. Yeah. You still remember them? <laughs> you didn't learn them just for the session now, did you? No, some of them I did. <laughs> I have to tell the truth. Well, yeah, I could do that. Talking to the mic. I'm preaching. <laughs> He's getting his uh, harmonica on the stick. This is one I did uh, Friday night. Let's see if I can. This was arranged by uh, uh, Susie Manley, my uh, banjo player, banjo mandolin player. And. Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a bluegrass arrangement, so I'm, which I'm faking on the harmonica. So I mean, it might be a little weird, but this is this is no place to fall. Oh yeah, beautiful song. I was going to start with something easier, but we'll just go ahead. Well, it's nice to be here. Thanks again. It's good to have you, you in here. dancing here. Yeah. yeah. You told me that uh, Tecumseh Valley was uh, written on a banjo uh, <coughs> and was uh, originally one of those uh, high and lonesome songs, uh -huh. right? Hmm. Alan Dameron uh, kind of, er, taught me the basics, but I could never get uh, Hammer in particular. I just ended up playing it like uh, finger picking the guitar. Mm -hmm. But Tecumseh Valley and uh, Columbine were written on a banjo. Hmm. And uh, I gave it to a little girl that. Uh, was real sick in Austin and uh, left town because I had to, you know, sheriff said, you're still in town. <laughs> and so I left town and uh, the banjo made her well and she gave it back to me and I got sick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Richard, how long you known Towns? Well, I was just wondering <laughs> Too <about> long. <laughs> <laughs> I think we must have met about 1970, uh, 71 or 72. Oh, okay. Down here in Austin? Um, no, I th we met in Nashville when I moved there the first time. Oh. Hmm. It was... Uh, uh, the same year as the first Kerrville Folk Festival. I know I remember that because that's when I moved there. Mm -hmm. I went to Kerrville and I thought, well, I'll go to Nashville now. <laughs> now the thing was that uh, they didn't ask him to Kerrville. He was so insulted that he just took his guitar and moved to Nashville. Is that right? There was no, uh, there was no Kerrville tradition. That was the very first year, so nobody knew what to about? expect. No, I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, not, and you got, you got. I went anyway. Went to Nashville. Yeah. Oh, you went anyway. I was did, you, did you wear a disguise? No. Didn't Blaze one time went. Yeah, Blaze went to Kerrville in disguise. Dress. I remember and I that. Because he had been eighty-six the years uh, the year before, and he was a formidable-looking drag queen, and <laughs> oh, with a beard <laughs> like this long, the lipstick, big lips. They just go on through, just go on through. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> I was surely not going to search them. <clears throat> Every time I cross all these borders in Europe, and uh, whenever it's happened to me, but uh, occasionally you get strip searched, you know, hardly ever. Austria is a little stricter because of the new European deal that's going down, and they haven't quite approved it yet in Switzerland. But, uh, you know, great folks, and, and it's getting to be where they just wave you through. You don't need a passport or anything. But uh, we got stopped in Austria and went through, and real nice folks, and, you know, with guns. <laughs> 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 and went through the old van, emptied the van, and, uh, you know, our tour guide was... Uh, He's from Holland and speaks German and all that. And he strip searched him. And, uh, you know, not terribly, but, <laughs> you know, take off your clothes and then go through the clothes. And uh, I said to man, if they wanted to strip search me, I would say, you've got to be kidding <laughs> You want me to take my clothes off in this little room? <laughs> you got to be jiving me. <laughs> no deal, huh? No deal. <laughs> I say, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, keep on. That's okay, keep on. <laughs> yeah, Richard, let's uh, hear you play one of your own songs now. Would you yeah. do that for us? Well, here, uh, let's go. Let's see. Let me, uh, let me try a new one. All right, I like to hear the new songs. This is this would be kind of a debut, I guess. It's, well, I'm making a new record uh, back in Nashville. We're about two thirds of the way through with it. Should be about ready to mix soon. And this is one of them on there. It's kind of a self-help song called "You Can't Love Nobody If You Don't Love Yourself." I standing at the crossroads looking for a better way When I went to see this old man who was down to counting days And he smiled when I came in the room and walked over by the bed Pulled up a chair and listened and these are the words he said You can't love nobody if you don't love yourself You can't pass it on to someone else it's like looking for the sunshine at the bottom of a well. You can't love nobody if you don't love yourself. Well, you may live in luxury and drive a Cadillac. Or you may be down to nothing but the shirt on your back. Born a man or woman, black or brown or white. If it don't shine within you, no one will see the light And you can't love nobody if you don't love yourself You can't pass it on to someone else It's like looking for the sunshine at the bottom of a well You can't love nobody if you 
don't love yourself My train is leaving and my time is nearly done This old engine's about to make its final run And there it was the last I saw him He was near the end And as I turned and walked away His words came back again You can't love nobody If you don't love yourself You can't pass it on to someone else It's like looking for the sunshine at the bottom of a well You can't love nobody If you don't love yourself You can't love nobody If you don't love yourself All right. All right. Now, both of you guys have uh, written songs about a friend of ours who we uh, spoke about just a few moments ago and I'd love to get to, to hear you play them back-to-back live. If Towns would sing Blazes Blues, and then uh, sure. Richard, if you'd sing Foley right after oh, that. That'd be cool. I think that'd be a nice little uh, set of How about things. springtime in Uganda? <laughs> can you do that one? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can, but I'd, I wouldn't uh, want to hazard it in the new studio on the first night. <laughs> Probably a good idea. We did a tribute uh, record to Blaze, and uh, Calvin might have been on it. I'm the only, you were, right? And I was one. And uh, by the time they found me, everybody had picked all of Blaze's pretty songs, of which he had many, many. And uh, everybody had not picked the others, of which he had many, many. Yes, he did. And uh, so I ended up with uh, Springtime in Uganda and... Uh, What's it called? It's lock your door, lady, or we'll jump in your car. Right. That one. Yeah. <laughs> well, when's that record going to come out? Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know. Well, surely it will. I and mean, maybe it already has. No, actually, I talked no. to Phil. Are you on there? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm on the Ricardo's too. on there. Yeah, it's too. up to a double album it's now. It's double, too, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to, re- I mean, there's oh, only so many folks on earth that do a tribute to Blaze, you know, <laughs> narrowing the number down if it's up to a double album. We'll never make three. Unless we start changing our names. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd try to play Blaze Blues here. <laughs> Guitar all my own. Got a quarter for the telephone. I ain't hit it down this highway all alone. One, two, three, and maybe four. Honey, I'm knocking on your door. Oh, I know you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. No daddy, but I got them all. Think she lives in Arkansas. Well, I might just go and see her some old day. It ain't like she'd really care. It ain't like she paid a fare. But I might just blow on through there anyway. Ha, ha. Ha 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 
headed down to Alabama Cause some trouble if I can Oh, buddy, would you like to come along? Oh, it's a place I've never been And all you know I could use a friend And he say they'll give us 20 bucks a song Got a guitar on my own Got a quarter for the telephone I ain't hit it down this highway all alone One, two, three, and maybe four Honey, they're knocking on my door Well, I know I'm gonna miss you when I'm gone Blaze wandered off into space there. As a matter of fact, you got the got derailed somehow. But that was the song. I, every time I play it, I feel like he's in the room. Yeah, that was somehow, boy, I mean, he was like, I think he was I maybe think he's causing a little mischief with, with the, you. Yeah, I think he was jacking with us a little bit there. Well, let's see, Blaze. Seen troubles all of my days. I used to drink till I see him double, but lately been changing my ways, boys. Lately been changing my ways. Last time I seen my old pal fully down in Austin Town. He was looking good and he gave me twenty dollars, said be seeing you. They pulled a gun and they put out foolish lies They put out foolish lies People said it was such a shame It ended that way You should have heard the women cry When they laid old foolish away They laid old foolish away said he was no accountant that put him below their kind. He sure could play the guitar. He was good for a real good time. Good for a real good
Blazers mm-hmm. Blue, and then uh, Foley, Town yeah. Van Zant, Richard Dobson, right here in the. Blaze won the uh, lottery. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I'll say. You know, he uh, passed on and uh, managed to get buried with the lottery kick, the winning number, in his coat pocket. And uh, nobody had enough nerve to dig him up. <laughs> Was the grand prize, you know, the million? Well, the I went out there with a couple of friends of mine <laughs> and shovels, and it was real cold in the middle of the night, but we got the wrong grave. It wasn't Blaze. Oh, so no <laughs> it was an older lady. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work. <laughs> All right, let me take care of the business here. This is the Texas Radio <laughs> Program here on KUT in Austin, the first night in our brand-new control room. Local support for this broadcast of Texas Radio is provided in part by Action Locksmith. Austin's full-service locksmith, specializing in 24-hour security services for auto, home, and office. All right, here we are back in the control room again. Uh, we're just talking about our friend Blaze and uh, another guest that I'll have in just a few minutes. Uh, Calvin Russell is one of the few people who actually recorded one of Blaze's songs and got it out on a record in uh, Blaze's own lifetime. And the other guy was Willie Nelson. So... Uh, uh-huh. Uh, you're in good company there, Calvin, uh, in choosing them songwriters. Anybody else uh, get any of Blaze's songs out uh, during his lifetime? Uh, no, not Pat, know Pat Mears uh, put one on her second Pat record, but that was, uh, I think, afterwards. But you know, the, uh, if it's still around, the uh, live at... He did about uh, maybe four records. Right. And a couple didn't get out, and... Uh, Right, the one on no Vital, problem. which is actually what Blazes Blue is about, right? Your song, well, going down to Alabama for that record. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you call your basic record company front four. Yeah. And the <laughs> FBI has the masters for that record, I suppose. That's what I heard. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, have one of those. That, my favorite is uh, Live at the... Outhouse. Yeah. And that's also still available, outhouse. I think, on you cassette. you can put that tape on if you can find one. And it's like Blazes in, sitting there singing. Mm-hmm. You know, and and with a couple of old, with a few buddies, too. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. And that was home base for him. Uh, he played the Outhouse on Sunday nights. Oh, he played there a lot. By that yeah. time, I'd kind of moved to... Uh, Nashville. I've lived there two or three times. First time I met Blaze uh, was in New York. I was playing The Bitter End and uh, he had finished a record for Zephyr Records and they had somehow misguidedly given him permission to sign for anything at the Gramercy Park Hotel. (laughs) (laughs) He came to the down to the gig and we became instant friends he says man you know pick up your bags stop paying come to Gramercy with me there's a couple of beds in the room so I don't sign for anything you bet it's like about whenever 75 or whenever and uh, we single handedly put Zephyr Records out of business <laughs> <laughs> we'd be ordered like 42 Tequila sunrises, two bags of potato chips, and a pack of Marlboro Lights. <laughs> and and Bla- all Blaze said to do was just sign this thing. He's probably and a big tipper, too. Tipping huh? the guys yeah. like $75. You know? <laughs> and I mean, they were standing outside the door of the, our room, and we were there four days. <laughs> right? And uh, went back to. Uh, the farm in Nashville, you talk about Mutt and Jeff. It's like from the Gramercy Park, nothing uh, limited. Back to that shack I lived in for 35 a month in, <laughs> <laughs> in Tennessee. He was like boom, boom, ping pong. You know, something I noticed. <laughs> That's a nice thing about place. Something I noticed over at the video store, uh, Heartworn Highways, which you appear in, is uh, now out on, out on video cassette, uh-huh. and yeah, people can rent that. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a good movie uh, done right here in Austin. Uh, documentary. Oh, part, of, uh, part of it's Austin. Yeah, a lot of it's Austin. Over in uh, Clarksville, right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think Uncle Seymour is the star. Yeah. 
and uh, plus the two guys in uh, Max Tavern. I think the real uh, highlight of that movie, though, is uh, when you go out in the backyard uh, looking for giant <laughs> rabbits. Tour of the back- oh, that's what's called providing comic relief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you guys to sing one more song each, and uh, then uh, we'll get Calvin Russell in here. He's got some new recordings, and I'm kind of hot to play some of those on the radio as well. Who wants to lead off? Mm-hmm. Far away. Um, you want me to? I don't care. So you want to flip a coin? <laughs> I don't have a coin. You, you, are, you already won them all. <laughs> you got one? Uh, yeah, play uh, B.W. Railroad Blues. About another late uh, friend of mine. I figure you hit middle age when exactly half your friends are dead. I'm getting older all the time. But uh, there's a sunny side to life, and my sunny side is the guest list gets shorter every time I come back to (laughs) Texas. (laughs) <laughs> I want to lay my trouble on a railroad track I'm going to ride, I ain't looking back Tried to stop, but a canine pack Better get used to the clickety-clack The big old wheels in a smoking stack I love you, honey, heart and soul I swear you're the sweetest thing I know I loved you true and I told you so Told you to come, time to go I'll be gone within your wind that blow Babe, I just can't stay It's bound to be that way Lots of things I'd like to see From the mountains to the shining sea Up in the sky where the wind blows free To the cities down below Babe, I just don't know You know I love you my trouble on a railroad track I'm gonna ride I ain't looking back gotta get used to the clickety clack the big old wheels in a smoking stack babe I gotta go I got trouble trouble in my soul I got trouble in my soul Thanks, everyone. All right. Thanks a lot, Larry. Hello. Yeah, it sure is a pleasure to, uh, for both of us, I speak for Ricardo, too. Somebody got to. <laughs> <laughs> but it sure is a pleasure to be uh, back down here and seeing dear old friends, you know. And occasionally, uh, I even make a new one. Uh, Richard didn't have it, quite as much luck along those lines as I do. <laughs> With uh, making friends. Well, I want to thank <laughs> both of you for coming in. And, uh... Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, this is all one, Larry. This is for you. This is about this old guitar here. It's wooden steel. Oh, yeah. When 
I can feel your arms around me like it was yesterday. I can feel you breathing next to me and hear you laugh again. You tried to tell me what was right and I told you what was real. And all I ever lived for is this piece of wood and steel. In a world that's full of trouble, a world that's full of pain, Lord, many fall beside the road and they never rise again. And many more bend and lower, broken at the wheel. But all I need to carry on is this piece of wood and steel. I was born my mother's only son and she loves me all she can. Ain't too much to say to her since I become a man. Now I often met the devil, I ain't never made a deal. I thank the Lord for hands to play this piece of wood to steal. That's piece of scarred and beaten, like the ragged clothes I wear. Like the body that God gave me, I might give her better care. I play it for the ladies, I play it for me. I play strings, you sit here and ring this piece of wood and steel. I'm growing tired of searching And ain't too much I crave You can give or take just a little time And you can write it on my grave There's nothing more I care to own And nothing left to feel And all I ever wanted Was this piece of wood and steel And all I ever asked for Was this piece of wood and steel